Welcome back to Coding Dift. In today's video, we will be exploring Crow AI. So what is Crow AI? I'll go to their documentation. You can use Crow AI to build AI agent teams that work together to tackle complex tasks. So it's a Python framework built entirely from scratch. It is not dependent on Langchain or any other agent frameworks. So it is tailored for two types of scenarios, Crew AI crews and Crew AI flows. We will be focusing on crew UI crews in this video. So before understanding what is crew, right? First, we will have to understand few other concepts like agents. So according to their documentation, agent is an autonomous unit that can perform specific tasks, make decision based on its role and goal, use tools to accomplish objectives, communicate and collaborate with other agents, maintain memory, delegate tasks when allowed. So these are the agent attributes. So role which will define what is the function of an agent so that other agents can understand what this agent will do. Goal is something we will tell the agent what is its objective. And backstory is like context. You can say this is the history, this is the context so that you can get better response from the agent. You can optionally supply LLM. If you don't supply LLM, it is defaulted to GPT-4. Agents can use tools. Optionally, you can supply tools. So what is tools, right? You can give access to tools like search or any custom functionality. Next is tasks. So task is a specific assignment that is completed by an agent. And these are all the attributes. A description we can provide. Then we can specify what is the expected output of a task. And we can give name. We can give the agent. That is the agent responsible for performing that task. Then you can supply tools as well. Then coming to crew, so a crew represents a collaborative group of agents working together to achieve a set of tasks. So we will have to specify the tasks and agents we have defined earlier to that crew. So without further ado, let us get into the exploration. So I'll be using cursor for this. I'm assuming you already have Python and UV installed in your system. So I'll navigate to my code directory. I'll create a directory here. I'll name it as YT crew AI. I will navigate to the directory. Here I will initialize a project by running uv init. So I will open this folder. You will see all these files created here. I will create a virtual environment by running uv venv dot venv. This will create a venv folder and all the dependencies will be installed inside this. So I will run this activate command. Now we are inside this virtual environment. Inside this we can install the dependencies. So I will install crew tools now uv add crew ai hyphen tools this is going to take a while okay now the installation is complete so we will be seeing two examples in this video first is a basic search next one is a block generator so let us first get started with the basic search so i'll have my imports from crew ai i'll import agent task crew and llm and from crew ai tools we will import website search tool and also we need llm so so let's have the env file I'll copy paste my OpenAI API key here. So you can define OpenAI underscore API underscore key is equal to your API key. So I pasted my key there. Now you can load this environment variables. So these two lines are optional. What I have seen, right? Crew A internally loads this env.env file. So this is not actually required, but I'll just keep it there. Now let us declare the LLM. LLM equal to let's call the LLM class. And we need to supply the model. I'll say GPT-4 Romini. If you don't pass this LLM, then GPT-4 will be taken as default. Then we need to create the tool. So this is the web search tool. So you need to give the website URL that you need to browse. So I've given this alignment page where they have published the HDFC Bank Q2 results. So I'll be asking the crew to summarize this article. Next, we need to create the agent. For that, we'll use the agent class. We need to specify the role. The role is article summarizer and then we need to specify the goal. This will be more descriptive. So I'll say gather comprehensive information on the article and summarize it in not more than 100 words. Then I need to give a backstory. Here I will say you are an article summarizer with a passion for finding information on the web. Then we need to give it the tool so that it can search the web. So we have this website search tool. So I'll pass it in an array. You can supply multiple tools. And we need to specify the LLM. And finally, I'll say verbose is equal to true. This is to see all the steps that is executed by the agent. So we have our agent ready. Now we need to define the task. 
we need a task description so i will say search the article and provide a summary of the article then agent is equal to agent we need to supply the agent to the task then i'll say the expected output so the expected output is a comprehensive summary of the article then finally i'll define the crew for crew we need to supply the agent as well as the task we have only one agent also we have only one task and to run this crew right we need to call crew.kickoff so let us run this and see I'll run uv run one underscore basic search dot pi. We have an error here. Yeah, there is a missing comma here. Let us run this again. This will take a while when you run it for the first time. So we did a small typo here. This should be tools. So there is a typo there. So let us run that again. So the agent has started. So you will see the agent tool execution. So it is using the tool searching in a specific website and it is passing the query and it is extracting the relevant content from the website and it is outputting the final answer. So that is very basic crew. It has just one task and one agent. Usually crew means multiple agents with multiple tasks. So in the next example, let us see how we can have multiple agents. So as discussed before, right, we'll be creating a blog generator. Again, similar imports, but uh, instead of uh, web search uh, tool, we will be using SERP API Google search tool to search the web and uh, create the blog and I will load the environment file in .env we will have an additional API key that's for SERP if you don't have SERP API key go to serpapi.com and uh, create a free account and get the key go to your .env file and update the SERP API key I have pasted mine now let us create the LLM it's the same as our previous example here I'll have two agents one is a research agent the syntax is same give the role role is a research agent goal is to research the topic and provide a complete information on the topic this topic will be passing in the input while kicking off the crew and backstory is you are a research agent with passion for researching topics i'll give the tool SERP api google search tool then i'll give the llm and verbose is equal to true so that we can see the agent execution in detail Similarly, I create a writer agent. So the goal of uh, this writer agent is to write the article based on the research done by research agent. Similar to the agents, we have tasks. So the first one is a research task. So I given the description as research the topic and provide a complete information on the topic. And I have given research agent to this research task and the expected output is the complete information on the given topic. Similarly, I have a writer task where the objective is to write an article based on the research and I given the writer agent to the writer task finally I'll create the crew crew is equal to crew that is class and agents we have two agents one is research agent and another is writer agent task is equal to research task as well as writer task and I'll say crew.kickoff to this we need to pass the inputs that is our topic i'll say topic as how ea is influencing children let us run this and see i'll say you we run two underscore block generator dot pi here it says so we have a missing package so let us go ahead and install it now the agent has started it has searched the internet and got the details so it is doing multiple search how AI is influencing children, AI influence on children, how AI benefits children, impact of AI on children. So this is the final article. As you can see, it has neatly written the article. One enhancement you can do is uh, you can add another agent that will create, let's say, cover image of the blog. So here one thing you can notice, right? All these uh, strings are hard coded here. So if we have multiple files and you want to modify a string, right? You'll have to find that string there and modify. It. So what this uh, crew age provides us with, right? We have a YAML support. So we can have all these uh, strings stored in an YAML file. So that if you want to modify it, you can go to that YAML file and update it. So let me quickly create those files. So we will have two files. One is agents.yaml and one more is tasks.yaml so this is the syntax research agent that is the name of the agent then we will have this role 
goal and backstory. Similarly, we have the writer agent and coming to tasks. We have the research task and writer task. We have given the description expected output agent LLM. Similarly, we have given it for writer task as well. So this is just whatever is given here. We have extracted it out to two YAML files. Now let me create a file 3 underscore YAML dot pi. So I have the imports. One extra import I have done is I'm importing from crew dot project, crew base, agent, crew and task. All these are annotations. So I'll create a class of uh, block generator crew. I'll add an annotation crew base here and I will define the agents config and task config. You should ensure that uh, these names are the same. You cannot have like agent config or something like that. So what this uh, crew base annotation we have given here, right? That tells the crew AI to parse this YAML file and store the contents of this inside this agents config and task config as a dictionary. Next, we'll create an agent. For that, we will use the agent annotation. This is a function. I'll say research agent and I'll return an agent with config as agents config of research agent. And then we will give the SERP API tool key. We will have verbose as true so that we can see all the agents execution steps. In the same way, I'll create the writer agent. Ensure that you are updating here as writer agent. Then I'll have a task. I'll define the research task. This will return a task with config as task config research task. That is this. It will pass all the description, expected output agent and LLM. And we will give a reference to the research agent here. Similarly, I'll create a writer task and update the key as writer task. Finally, we need to create the crew. Here I will call the crew class and pass the agents as well as the tasks to it. Finally, I'll execute this. I'll create a crew using a block generator crew is equal to block generator crew. That is this class. And I will call block generator crew dot crew. And I'll call kickoff function. I'll pass input and the topic as RB in an AI bubble. Let me run that. The agent has started execution. The research agent is uh, using a Google search tool and it is making search like RV in an AI bubble. This is the output of the research agent that will be passed to the writer agent. The writer agent will format the response from the research agent and it will output the final answer. And this is the final conclusion. The AI sector stands at a pivotal moment marked by dual narrative. And one more thing we have, right? There is something called crew AI CLI. And if you have that, right, you can create all these uh, YAML files automatically. So let us install that. I'll run UV tool install crew AI. Yeah, I have already installed. You can run it and install for yourself. Now what I'll do, right? I'll run this crew AI create crew research underscore crew. I can run it in the parent folder. So it will ask for the provider that is the LLM we want to use. I'll give it as OpenAI and I'll give the model as a GPT-40 mini and you have to enter the OpenAI key. I'll skip for the moment. Now it has created all these files like the tools, the agents, the tasks. So I'll go to that folder. So inside this SRC folder, right, I have main.py. This is just uh, creating a crew and uh, running that. So if I go to crew, we have this crew base and the class and the agent task and crew the same thing what we have seen so far and additionally there are custom tools so you can use this uh, to create your own custom tools and in the config we have the research uh, reporting and list all this in yaml format so that's it about uh, crew ai if you like this please consider subscribing to the channel see you in the next one